Hello ladies and gentlemen welcome back to how to be a boss channel and today I want to talk about how being in a relationship with the wrong woman can give a, a man post-traumatic stress disorder when dating women in the future. Post-traumatic stress disorder is related to army veterans who have gone to war and seen graphic images of their fellow army colleagues dying or being in compromising situations where they felt some horrible emotions which they can't shake. Once they return home from these wars they find it impossible to live life how they used to as their mind has changed. The effects of the war have given them stress which influences how they think, feel and act as they go about their daily life. It can have such a dramatic effect that some war veterans can't go to work or even function properly and need professional help to get back to their old selves. If you have ever dated a woman and it didn't go the way you wanted it to and afterwards you didn't feel like talking to women then it's most likely that you've had post-traumatic stress disorder from your relationship. This post-traumatic stress disorder can last anywhere from a month to years or even forever in some cases. The best example of this is a guy who's been married and the marriage ended acrimoniously in a divorce and that guy says he's staying away from women or actively avoids being around women. The trauma from the marriage has made him either fearful, emotional or stressed about even entering a relationship again as he's scared that the same relationship will play out which he doesn't want at all. I believe there are three types of women who can cause post-traumatic stress disorder and if they're not specifically and if they're not specifically in one of these cate categories, then they are a combination of one of the three. So the first one is an emotionally or mentally demanding girl. This is the type of woman that you are physically attracted to, but leaves you in an emotional or mental wreck once you finish dating them. These are the women that want to talk about their problems, their lives and how the world is against them. Most notably because she's the most beautiful or intelligent woman in the room and people can't accept that fact. To be with this woman, this type of woman, you'll need to give them pretty much all of your time as they need it to get everything that happened to them in their lives off their chest. You'll spend countless hours on the telephone, via WhatsApp or text before, during and after work to keep them happy as she needs to get her emotions, feelings and frustrations in her mind and body out and you're the, the person who needs to be the one who understands, listens and feels her pain. In other words, you're her free personal psychologist who is expected to be on call at a moment's notice and if you're not ready when she wants you to be there then you'll know about it because she should be the number one priority in your life above everything else. The problem with that is that your mind gets filled with all her problems and issues and you won't be able to think straight. Even trained psychologists give themselves break from clients. They normally schedule 45 minute sessions followed by 15 minute breaks to give their minds a rest. But with these types of women you're expected to talk on the phone or in person for hours on end to please them. The downside to this is that you won't be able to concentrate at work or in your personal life as all your spare time is about her and you'll most likely try to get some respite from the incessant talking by actively avoiding her. 
Again, this will have serious implications as you will irritate her and get more punishment for your ghosting behavior. By the end of the relationship, your mind will be blown and you'll need a long break from women just to get back your sanity. So the second type of woman is the social climber type woman. Depending on the type of guy you are and the stage of your life that you're in, then this type of woman will mentally and physically drain you if you're not at the peak of your powers. This is the woman who always wants to go out to parties or nights out to have fun, but also to improve on her life situation. At that, at that moment, you are serving a function for her by being able to party with her. But also, these types of women have a short attention span and want to be where the main event of the party is. If you can't satisfy her need for adrenaline, then she'll move on to the guy who can provide that. Thus, you'll always be chasing after her. She'll try and challenge herself by looking for a guy who has more resources available to her than you and will no, do no, and will no doubt remind you that you need to improve yourself, otherwise she'll be leaving you for someone better. Trying to keep this type of girl around will take a toll on your body due to all the nights out and energy required to make sure she is not straying like a dog. Plus all the mental resources are being told that you're not good enough and need to improve. The third type of women who, who can give you post-traumatic stress disorder is the money orientated or gold digger type of woman. In my personal opinion, this is the woman who is going to give you post-traumatic stress disorder around women for the rest of your life if you don't have the finance or, or you're in the stage of your life to keep her around. Every time you go out with this, this type of woman, no matter where you're going, she will expect you to pick up the tab, no matter how much the cost is or where you are in, in life with money. She may even demand that you take her to certain expensive types of restaurants or clubs or bars where she brings along her friends and thinks it's your responsibility to pay for her and all of her girlfriend's drinks for the rest of the night. Once you start paying for her on dates, then the window really opens and she'll request certain gifts or even suggest holiday destinations, which is really her way of hinting that you need to take me to this location and pay for it all. If you agree to, to these demands, then the next will come with a demand for an allowance that you need to pay her every single month. So it's almost as if you're paying her to date you, which she thinks is how it should be for the rest of her life. The reason she wants an allowance is so whilst you pay for everything for her, she can save all her salary and use the allowance money to sustain her lifestyle through makeup and treatments to look good. If you refuse on any of the points above, then she will make your life a living hell and be in your ear every day saying that men must pay everything for women and tell you stories of how her other girlfriends are with beta males who pay for, for their every need and why can't you be like them? If you choose to have a relationship with the gold digger type of woman, then you have to work your socks off physically to make the money to sustain her and your lifestyle. Your mind will be consumed with making money and where the money is going that you won't even be able to enjoy nights out with her as you'll be thinking, what's she going to order next? And do I have enough money to pay for all of this? This creates an unhealthy mental pressure as you're living in a pressure cooker of money demands which will send your mind spinning. 
Many guys have divorced women like this and they never ever want to remarry as the relationship was one of the worst experiences of their lives, which they never want to happen again.